Okay, welcome back. This is part 25 of my How to Build a Community Site tutorial series. And in the last video, what we did is we uh, made our profile page look a lot nicer, but we're still not quite done. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, change up our, our box here to make it so uh, we have a, a top area and a bottom area, and each will contain various information. Now, this code inside of this new file right here is for the YouTube channel, um, I guess, uh, gadget, YouTube, uh, Google calls them, the gadget, uh, which we will be using later. Uh, and I went ahead and got that code and just pasted it into a file. Um, so, what we want to do is in our uh, corners FG uh, class here, this is where we want to put the um, the uh, code that we're going to be displaying uh, that is going to be inside of our, that's going to be our, our top area, if you will. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this line break, and we're going to put that there and we're gonna say uh, their username and then um, apostrophe s um, profile and for now that's all it's gonna say so we're gonna say their profile and then we're going to end that area so if I uh, save this file and I FTP it to show you what that looks like you can see a dramatic, uh, dramatic change. So I refresh, and the server's going slow. Waiting, waiting, and awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause, and I'll be back once it's loaded. Okay, so it's finally loaded after a couple of minutes, which is horrible. Um, so you can see that immediately it's dropped this, it's gotten rid of the entire background on our box, our, uh, our box uh, type thing, and it's putting all of our content, uh, everything's still where it is, and it shares uh, basic Nick's profile, but it's really, really hard to see, plus it's all scrunched up against the side, which is not what we wanted to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to add various uh, paddings and, and things like that to make it so we can uh, style this to our liking. So, inside of our corners FG class right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a div, say div, eh, I'll say class equals uh, top, and I'm going to actually just cut out that text, paste it in, and end the div. Uh, now what I'm going to do is after the corners FG, uh, I'm going to put in a class, so div class equals and I'm going to call it uh, bottom and I'm going to scroll down till after we display the bio and I'm going to put in the end div right there so what we need to do now whoa I accidentally closed that file so there we go what we need to do now is go to so scroll down is go to our CSS file and we need to code in those uh, left and or those uh, top and bottom um, classes. So we're gonna put the top class in. and the uh, bottom class. Um, but before I do that, well, no nah, actually never mind. Uh, so we're going to put those top and bottom classes in, and then uh, for our top class, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set the color, which is the uh, the text color, and I'm going to set it to uh, triple F, which is white, so it's going to uh, actually show up and make it so we can actually see it. Um, and then I'm going to put a uh, a padding on the left side of and I forgot the G of about I'm gonna go with 10 pixels for now so it's gonna uh, space this over 10 pixels I am also going to change the font size so font dash size and I'm gonna set that to about eh, with 18 pixels for now that should be good 
And for our bottom, the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a left and right border on this uh, this this puppy here. And uh, what we want to say is I'm going to go with two pixel uh, solid and the color. I forgot what it was, and for now I'm just going to put it as triple zero, duplicate the line, change it to the right side. So what that's going to do is it's going to give us our border, it's going to connect this here. Um, um, scroll down here, uh, I don't think that's it, I don't know, I don't remember what that color was that I chose out. Um, I will figure that out later though. Um, so I'm going to scroll back up and for now I'm just going to put it as this color. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and pause this and I'm going to FTP these uh, files up, the CSS and the profile page. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back now. And I actually uh, I reviewed the last video I shot and that is the color the 414141. So if I refresh the page, you can see immediately we have this uh, 2 pixel um, uh, we have our, our text displaying properly, our, our white text there, but it's kind of still scrunched together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some padding on the bottom there, um, and I'm going to add some padding on our bottom area. Uh, so we're going to make this look nicer. I'm also going to thicken the uh, border to make it look nicer as well. So I'm going to go ahead and jump the border up to 4 pixels, so I'm going to double it. And then on our top, I'm going to duplicate this line, and I'm going to set this to bottom. I'm going to set the value to go with 3 pixels for now. I'm going to kick this baby up to 15. I'm going to copy that line, put it down here, and I'm going to put padding, uh, 10 pixel padding everywhere on the inside of the bottom section. I'm going to FTP up my CSS file, refresh the page, and you can see it's given us a little bit more padding here. It's kicked this over some more, and our uh, border is the uh, thickness of the bottom uh, curved edges there, so that's, that's what I want it to be. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm kind of going to uh, mess with the text inside of here and how it's displayed and things like that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to do all that and I will be back in a moment. Okay, so I have uh, fixed up the page how I like it and I guess this is how it's going to be for now. Um, so it's displaying the various pieces of information and it's kind of made some things bold and underline. Uh, so the code for such a thing is right here. So what we're doing is we're automatically making the uh, joined as the the date registered, uh, and then the last login. The first things we're displaying, and we're making those bold. Uh, the I guess the title for it, and then the actual date for each one, and then we're putting a new line on it. Um, and then the website, uh, it's the same thing except we're making it bold and underline as well as for YouTube. Uh, the YouTube channel, and then we're just putting a line after it and displaying it on different lines like that. And then we're also displaying the bio if it's there. Uh, so yeah, so that's pretty much for the, uh, the basic information for the uh, profile page. Uh, and now what I'm going to show you is to get that awesome uh, channel widget. So I'm going to copy this page and I'm going to go into the profile page. I'm going to scroll up to where we have our image and I'm going to go after the image what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a uh, line break and then and then I'm going to paste in this code now what I need to do is uh, put that right there and that right there and that needs to be an echo and uh, inside of here what we need to do is I'm going to put an if statement I'm going to say if uh, dollar sign YouTube and so if the YouTube is there we're going to echo this out and you need to get rid of that fix that uh, this code will be available if you download the source code right here it has my channel name just put that change that to YouTube and you're good 
So, I'm going to stop this video here. I'm not going to show it. Uh, in the next video, I will uh, we'll finish up with the profile page. So, check out the next part.